Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to explore Hmong beauty of a specific Hmong group that lives in various parts of Laos. They do not necessarily have a particular region or province that they identify with like the other Hmong clans that I have mentioned in my past videos. Rather, they speak a specific dialect that is called green, like the color. Because of this, people who speak in this dialect are often called green Hmong. Sometimes they are referred to as blue, but for the sake of this video, I am I'm going to call them green. People who are green Hmong does have their own specific clothing identity that sets them apart from the other Hmong groups. So for this video, I am going to explore what makes them different from the other Hmong groups in terms of what they wear. As always, I am going to start this video off by doing my makeup first, which of course is inspired by this group. Lastly, I'll put the outfit on to show you guys what makes green Hmong people who they are. I'm going to go ahead and get started, but before I do, I would like to remind you guys to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as it will really help support this channel. Also, I upload videos every Friday, so I hope you come back and join me again. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so as you can see, I already went ahead and did my base makeup as well as my brows. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Kat Von D contour palette. This is in shade light. And even though this is a contour palette, I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow just to deepen up the eyes. For Green Hmong, their clothes are pretty traditional standard Hmong clothes. I would say that their clothing is almost identical to the clan that I identify with. Instead of the white skirts, Green Hmong skirts are pretty colorful with colors such as red, pink, yellow, blue, and green. And the patterns on the skirts are traditionally horizontal lines and triangular shapes throughout. And authentic green monk skirts are stitched and embroidered by hand by mothers and daughters. So it is a very time consuming process. Nowadays, more likely than not, you'll see a machine made skirt that already has pre-printed patterns. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the crease to clean it up. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take this NYX liquid liner and create a pretty thick wing. Anyways, going back to the skirts, if you look at them, there is a lot going on. It's almost as if you're looking into a kaleidoscope because of all of the intricate patterns and designs. It is said that within these skirts, there are hidden messages in it. And of course, each skirt may be conveying different messages as they are made by different people. Furthermore, the design and patterns embroidered on the skirts are not the only clothing pieces that is said to convey a message or hold some type of meaning. Apparently, Hmong people had a writing system, but they lost it along the way of trying to escape the Chinese people. As a result, Hmong people sewn their alphabets onto their clothes to try to preserve it and to hide it from oppression. And right now, I'm just taking some concealer and carving out a triangular shape. So authentic Hmong clothes, such as in the green Hmong skirts, may be holding hidden messages and meaning within it. Of course, as I mentioned in one of my past videos, a lot of things are hard to verify whether it's true or not because Hmong people did not have any written recordings. Either way, it is very inspiring to hear that they went against opposition to try to preserve what little culture they had left. And they did it in a very creative way, I must say. So I have been taking these Vivid Brights by NYX and creating little intricate designs on the black eyeliner, just like how green Hmong skirts are. Now I'm just going to take this blue one and finish up this little design. Now next with the makeup, I'm going to be taking this James Charles palette and I'm going to dig into this really, really bright fuchsia-like pink and apply it onto my lower lash line. So speaking of the alphabet, there are no known writing system that Hmong people called their own. So in 1950s, they adopted the English writing system. This writing system has been widely accepted for the most part, but some people claim it to be inauthentic, which sparked some controversy. Anyways, as I mentioned earlier, they are called green because of the dialect that they speak. The other spoken dialect is called white, and that is the one that I speak. Typically, both can understand each other with few exceptions, such as in the accent. It's like comparing American English with British English. They speak the same language, but they differ in their accent. Anyways, I think I'm done with this eye look. I'm going to go ahead and do this one off camera, apply some lashes and mascara, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I am finally done with this look. So far, I have incorporated blue 
green, yellow, and pink underneath the eyes. So I feel like it's only right if I go with red lips to finish up the color scheme that is on the green mong skirt. So for lips today, I'm going to be using this Anastasia lip palette. I am going to be going into this red right here as well as this red orange. Alright guys, so I am finally done with this makeup look. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Okay, so again, Green Monk is a specific spoken dialect in the Hmong language and their skirt distinguishes them apart from the other Hmong groups. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the outfit on to show you guys what they wear that makes them who they are. All right guys, as you can see, I have the outfit on right here. This is what green Hmong women wears. They also wear coins that I did not wear because again, this is identical to the clan that I identify with and I already have a video of that. So I just strictly kind of just wanted to show you guys the skirt, which is what sets them apart from the other Hmong groups. That is it for this video. This is what green Hmong women looks like. They can be identified by the distinct skirt that they wear. Not only is it beautifully crafted by hand, but the meaning within it is so inspiring knowing that it was their way of trying to preserve the culture. When I came across this information, I was completely blown away by it because it meant that they held true to who they were even against all odds. And it's a reminder for me to do the same thing. All in all, I just wanna say that regardless of what cultural background you come from, it is beautiful no matter what. Love it, embrace it, learn about it so that you can just learn more about yourself and be who you are. That is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next Friday.